Imagine for a moment your glorious AI future, where computers and robots do everything for you and all you have to do is sit around and stare at the wall and drool on yourself. The fact is today, everyone is using AI for something. It's supposed to make you more productive, simplify your life, and so on. But the reality is that very slowly we're beginning to see the cracks in the very foundations of AI. So what does your AI future actually look like? Now, I know everyone is sick to death of hearing about AI. The good news is you might not have to for much longer. Now, AI is good for certain things, for example, sifting through large bodies of data, and it can produce basic summaries of that data. Now, I use the word basic because very often the summaries that it produces are complete crap. AI tends to what they call hallucinate, where it ignores all the data that you've given it, and it decides to just make crap up. So you actually have more work to do correcting it, so it's not really actually simplifying your life at all. It's making it more complex. And of course we have AI image production, makes things like this, that's supposed to be the Three Musketeers. This was generated by Google's Gemini AI. I'm sure many of you remember that one. It's beginning to get a little ridiculous because the other day Meta, aka Facebook, released their new Meta AI Studio. It simulates your specific personality and you're supposed to use it for certain things like answering your fans' emails and messages and other questions. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can if you want to now. But anyway, back here in the real world, reality is slowly creeping in. So what exactly are these problems with AI that are cropping up? Well, the first is that AI is kind of going in the wrong direction. Joanna here commented, you know what the biggest problem with pushing all things AI is? Wrong direction. I want AI to do my laundry and dishes so that I can do art and writing. Not for AI to do my art and writing so that I can do my laundry and dishes. There's an idea. Speaking of doing work, smartphone producer Xiaomi in China recently announced that they've opened a brand new factory. Uh, there are zero human workers. It's all robots and computers producing uh, one smartphone per minute. And they've done this before. That's not really big news. This is, this is at least their second automated factory. The difference with this one is that the control center of this smart factory is 100% powered by AI. Because why would you want a job, right? Meanwhile, in the video game industry, Activision, after reassuring everyone that they wouldn't lay off a bunch of 2D artists and replace them with AI, actually laid off those 2D artists and replaced them with AI. Again, who wants a job? We've got AI. Speaking of the corporate world, everyone's corporate boss is telling them you should use AI so that you can be more productive. Use AI and you can produce more, and therefore our company will grow and everything will be glorious. But the reality is a little bit different. It turns out that 50% of employees in a recent survey say they don't know how to produce more using AI. 75% say AI is actually decreasing their productivity. And 40% say AI is causing more work because, well, it sucks. And here's just a crazy educated guess on my part, but you remember that whole work from home thing? Yeah. My guess is that the whole use AI to become more productive, that's going to be reversed in the near future. And all those people that Activision just laid off, they'll be rehiring them very shortly. But there are even bigger core problems with AI that are now coming out. For example, power usage. Every time you do an AI search, that AI search uses 10 times more power than a traditional simple Google search. That's kind of problematic. Many people are estimating that using AI in every Google search would use the same amount of power per year as the entire country of Ireland. Oops. But energy usage isn't the only issue. Money is a big one. Many analysts are saying the numbers simply don't add up. The cost of running so much AI may not match up with the money that big tech will make from it, especially because people may not actually want AI at all. Will people actually run out and buy a new smartphone and tablet and laptop just to get the AI processor? Given the current economic conditions, um, I'm guessing not. Furthermore, many analysts are getting cold feet because they've 
dumped a bunch of money in themselves and they're watching all these corporations spend hundreds of billions of dollars on AI, except no one's actually seeing the return. No one's seeing the, the killer app that, that really is going to make AI awesome. Kind of like the introduction of the iPhone made smartphones a thing. That hasn't happened yet for AI. That's got a lot of people worried. Furthermore, it appears that AI is now ruining the internet. Google researchers say that fake content is ruining the internet. They say that AI could, quote, distort collective understanding of socio-political reality or scientific consensus. And in many cases, it's doing just that. When you ask it questions and it produces crap output and the crap output is, it's kind of like fake news. And that's linked to our next point, which is that too much AI is bad in another way. There's a paper entitled AI Models Collapse When Trained on Recursively Generated Data. You see, AI is trained on data from the internet. And as more internet data comes from AI, AI will start to train on its own AI-generated data. The result is increasingly crap output from that AI. Eventually, you get something called model collapse, where the AI literally just collapses under the weight of its own stupidity. Oops. So yeah, when it comes to AI, there's the hype, and then there's the reality. And the reality ain't looking too good these days. On the plus side, it looks like we won't be getting Skynet anytime soon. So there's that. And come to think of it, maybe instead of calling it artificial intelligence, we should call it artificial stupidity. Because not only is it producing stupid output, but the whole concept seems pretty stupid and everyone seems to be realizing it. So I don't know, what do you think? Do you have an AI horror story to share? Let me know in the comments below. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.